welcome to Learn C Lesson 3. Uh, today we're going to actually do a real program that really does some math here. So let's start with um, a new project, a new C project. And this is just going to be a very simple program that takes the average of um, three numbers. So file, new, new project. You can call it average or whatever, but I think I'm going to call it lesson three. And we're going to go to desktop, C code, new file, less, lesson three. Go in there, lesson three, save. And again, we're going to put all the guts of this program in, the, in between these curly braces before the return statement. Okay, so um, first thing I need is I need three variables. I'm going to take the average of three numbers, so I need three variables to describe each of the three numbers I'm going to enter. And I have to declare them as variables, I have to say. And I'm going to declare them as floating point numbers. The way to do that is with, say, float, A, B, C. I also need a number to store the average, right? So I'm going to say float. ABG, and all of those could have been on the same, or the, if I could have said float A, then float B, float C, and then float average. Um, uh, it's a good strategy to name as few, to put as few variables as possible on an individual declaration statement. So this is a declaration statement. We C is not as smart as Excel. Excel already knows that if I enter a number into a cell, that means it's a, has a floating point value. C, you have to tell it. You have to give va variable. You have to give um, the cells that are storing information, the equivalent of the cells that are storing information, you have to give them names, and then you have to declare what type of um, data is going to be stored in them. So A equals 3, B equals 5, C equals 8, average equals A plus B plus C, all divided by three. Now, um, uh, I didn't have to say 3.0, 5.0, 8.0 because it's already declared as a float. So it's storing it as 3.0, 5.0, 8.0. Floating, there, there are several different types of data types that we're gonna go into more later. Um, floating point numbers are to be distinguished from integer numbers, right? One, two, three, four, five. So that's it. That's the program, and it worked. But how do we see it? Hmm. So I need a printf statement. I need to print out the answer. The answer is percent f slash n comma. So. Now, the printf statement has two input arguments. The first is this string, and now in the string there's this percent %f character. Percent %f means put a floating point number there. Which floating point number? The second argument, average. Right? So let's compile that. Execute, compile. Now when you just go straight to compile, it'll ask you to save it, which is nice. So you just save yes. No errors, no warnings. Execute, run. The average is the answer is 5.333. That's the average of 3, 5, and 8. Cool. So a couple of details, a couple more details about this um, program. Again, the convention is the same. The, the output is on the left hand side of the equal sign. What we want to put in that variable name, the input, is on the right hand side of the equal sign. So that's always the convention. If you said 3 equals A, it would give you an error. The other thing is that we needed to force precedence. So using the parentheses, we said A plus B plus C, we want to add those numbers first before dividing all the, that sum by 3. So you have to use parentheses, just like in a calculator, um, to force precedence. Printf can have, can have many, many arguments. So you can put a lot of, I could have said the answer, the sum of percent, I could, let's do it.
So here I've got 4% F characters in here, and then there are four arguments after this first string argument. And so A is going to go into the first percent F, B is going to go into the second one, C is going to go into the third one, and AV is going to go into the fourth one. Let's just do that real quick. The average of 3, 5, and 8 is 3.5.33. Um, this is a really simple program that doesn't uh, do very much, and it's not very practical. If I wanted to do three different numbers, I'd have to put three new numbers in there and recompile and re-execute. That's not very user-friendly. But what it does is it gets us started. By the end of this thing, we're going to have an average program that can take the average of any arbitrarily large data file virtually any large, any size data file up to a certain point. Um, that's it. That's the this first lesson. We're going to do a couple follow-up lessons to talk a little bit more about some other details here. But um, that's basically how to make a program that averages three numbers.